Hey everyone, Mike from Video Maker here, uh, back with another Q&A session. Uh, you may notice this time I've got this big obtrusive microphone sticking out in front of me here. Um, figured we'd just try something new. This room that we record in has really, really bad acoustics. We tried to tape up or pin up as much um, foam as we could, uh, but it's still not great. So trying out the uh, cardioid USB mic here from Audio-Technica and we'll see how it sounds. Let me know in the comments if this added visual obstruction here um, is worth it for better audio quality or if you can't tell the difference anyways, in which case we'll just go back to how it was. Okay, so for this week we've got a question about lighting and our question comes from Stefan who sent us an email. Um, Stefan asks, uh, I'm new to lighting, so what light should I buy first? Okay, so actually this might be a little bit of a trick question or at least a trick answer because what I'm going to say uh, to start may not exactly be what you want to hear, but basically if you're brand new to lighting, the first light I think you should get actually isn't a light at all. Really your best option is to get a 5-in-1 or a 7-in-1 a reflector. Now the reason why we advocate getting a reflector before you actually get lights is it will force you to think about lighting in uh, different ways. So not only do you think about quality and intensity, but more like uh, you think about your ambient light in general. So the light which you normally might not be able to control, you learn how to manipulate it with uh, basically uh, just a single non-electric device. Additionally, using a reflector will make you think a little bit more about the positioning of your subject, which is also really important, especially when you're shooting under natural lighting conditions. So things like placing your subject next to a window or next to a practical light, uh, a practical being a light that is in your shot, like a, like a desk lamp or something, or any kind of light, um, will basically force you to think about which direction is this light coming from and how can I manipulate it to bounce back at the subject or diffuse its quality. So a 5-in-1 reflector is really great because it gives you a sort of soft matte reflector. It gives you a, um, a diffuser if you take the, the outside zipper part off of it. It gives you a silver reflector, it gives you a gold reflector, and then like a half silver gold. Um, the great thing about these things is they're pretty dang cheap. You can get a 42-inch reflector for under 100 bucks on um, on B&H, and uh, you know, at at least at this point, we're recommending uh, Photoflex reflectors. They're just really durable. They're really, really good quality uh, reflectors that um, anyone should have in their lighting kit. Okay, so if that didn't really give you a satisfying answer because you want to know about real lights or light electrical lights. Um, let's talk about two kits in particular that uh, I think are actually pretty dang good. The first is, if you have a little bit of money to spend, um, take a look at the Light Panels Sola ENG kit. It's a three light kit. Um, they're LED Fresnels. Now, if you're unfamiliar about how LED Fresnels work, or Fresnels in general, a Fresnel is basically a lighting fixture that has a lens on the front, which allows you to focus or broaden the beam of light. Since it comes in a three light kit, you have a really good setup for three point lighting, especially considering the LEDs are dimmable. Now, if you're on a little bit more of a budget, I don't think you can really beat the LOL DV Creator kits. Now, the thing with these LOL kits is they've been around forever and they come in a variety of different configurations. Um, they usually float around a thousand dollars, give or take a couple hundred bucks, depending on which uh, configuration you get. They're all tungsten, so you will lose a little bit of that flexibility um, that LED affords you. But the great thing about it is they're really, really good lights for beginners. Um, you can get them with about four lights, uh, or three I guess, if you want to save a little money. Um, and with a variety of different types of fixtures. So they have a, an Omni in there, which is a focusable um, light with uh, barn doors. You can get a Toto, which is basically a floodlight. You can get it with a soft box, which is really handy. It comes with um, umbrellas. Sometimes you can get it with two different types of umbrellas, the diffusion and the reflection. It comes with gels and frames. Um, in general, it's just a really, really good kit for beginners. The downside is it is tungsten, so the uh, lights run hot. you got to worry about plugging too many into a single outlet. And also, they can be dangerous. The totas are exposed lamps, which just get mega, mega hot. So if you trip over one, um, it'll go down and might start a fire. The stands themselves are a little bit flimsy, but that'll just teach you more about lighting safety, I guess, right? Just be sure to uh, set it in a place where it's not going to get knocked over or use sandbags if you can to weigh down those those legs. Other than that, if you are on a super, super budget and you want to get actual lights and not just a reflector, uh, take a trip down to the Home Depot and get some of those um, those cone-shaped lighting fixtures that they use in a shop and put a CFL in it. That's um, plenty bright. You can use it in combination with a, with a reflector. You can clamp those things on just about anything. And the CFL doesn't run hot, so you're probably not going to start a fire with them and 
uh, should be safe to use. Well, that's it. Hopefully that answered the question. Uh, if you've got a question for us, you can submit it to our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash videomaker online. You can tweet us at Twitter. Uh, we're at videomaker. Um, you can post a comment below. Um, or you can email us, which seems to be the popular method of, uh, of sending in questions, though we take them in the other forms as well. But email us at editor at videomaker.com. And of course, we always encourage you to sign up for our email list where we send out tutorials and articles, videos, you name it, um, straight to your inbox. So click the link if you're interested in signing up for that. I'm Mike with Videomaker. Thanks for watching.